Hello and welcome. My name is Teresa and in today's video I want to share with you how I created this card. Now this one was created using the soft succulent and we're going to switch it up just a little bit and we are going to use Evening Evergreen. So let me go ahead and put this off to the side and let's go through some of the products that I, I used to create this card. First and foremost, you're going to need the leaves. I'm sorry, not the leaves, the dies that coordinate with the Leaves of Holly stamp set. The labels I chose, actually, these are retired now, but you may have them, you may not. It doesn't really matter. You can use whatever labels you have, but from the tasteful labels, I'm using this one and this one. So not this one. Let me get that out of the way. Just these two. Okay. And then for my sentiment, because I really liked it, Merry Christmas to you and yours again, use what you have, but that came out of the Christmas Barn stamp set, and that's new. Now the papers we're going to need, I happen to have the Tidings of Christmas. These are the 6x6 six six designer series papers, and I like them because they go with that soft succulent and that evening evergreen, and for some reason this year, I'm really feeling those colors. Love them. Now... The pieces, we're going to need a sheet of the eight and a half by 11 sheet of Evening Evergreen. We'll cut that. Two sheets of your white. This should be cut at four by five and a quarter. This is the sheet from the designer series paper, this Tidings of Christmas. On the back side, it's the red, but I'm choosing to use this one. I'm coming in an additional quarter of an inch. So this would measure three and three quarters by five inches because we're going to layer it up. I stamped this, not stamped, I cut this label out of the Evening Evergreen and then I stamped the Merry Christmas to you and yours using the Evening Evergreen ink. So it's very similar, very coordinated. Now from the dies that come from the Leaves of Holly, I cut out one of these. This is the, um, this encircles the holly berries, but I Cut that out using that metallic gold paper that's available. See, it's, ooh, that might be hard on your eyes, but I cut out just one of those. Using this die, this leaf die, I cut out one out of Evening Evergreen. Then you have two of these little leaves. I cut three each, three of these and three of those, all of them in the soft, whoops, just dropped one, in the soft succulent. Oh my goodness. Let me grab the one I dropped and bang my head on the table. Hopefully you all can feel that. So let's move these pieces aside because the first thing we need to do is go ahead and cut our paper. On the 11 inch side, I want to cut it at five and a half because that is half of 11, right? So five and a half, and let's just go ahead and score that. Put that piece off to the side. Then I want to score it at four and a quarter. So I'm getting the blade out of the way, and I'm going to score it at four and one quarter. That should be right in half. If you have your bone folder, or your boning tool, excuse me, you can make a nice sharp crease on that. Get that padded down as well as we can. We can go ahead and apply the inside greeting. I personally like the Stamp and Seal Plus, and everyone seems to do this a little differently. I just like to go along all four edges, but however you want to is fine. Eyeballing down here, until it looks like there's equal distances around, and then I just trust that the top will go. Boom. We're going to sh um, stir this up just a little bit. I am going to apply this sideways. You'll see what I mean. So let me go ahead and get our piece of designer series paper onto that second piece of white cardstock. So we're going to just Twist this up just a bit, okay? And now for this one, what I did, I'm gonna follow this, it's very similar. I'm going to apply this here, but a little offset, and you'll see why in just a second. Let me get this to where you can see it. Yep, straight down, 
excuse me, hold on. I am not raising this with a stamping dimensional at this time. There we go, something is just not working with my hands. So, now all of these are not perfectly straight lines, so you gotta be careful about how you choose to do this. I think I wanna make it just a little down, and there's really no wrong way to put that on. I am not using the coordinating ribbons. We do have, we, Stamping Up does have some evening evergreen ribbon and it's beautiful, but I want to use the gold. This is, um, I think this is also available, so I'm going to cut it a little bit larger. My favorite little scissors, they're small, but they're mighty. I'm going to turn this over, kind of keeping an eyeball where it's at. Right, it's just going over all these pieces. And I'm gonna, again, eyeball it straight through the center of that guy, of the label. Bend it back, it caught, bend it back, it caught. Boom, now let's go ahead and finish applying some tape to the four sides. I'm just gonna kind of fill in where it left off. Go over that a little bit more if I can to pick it up. One down the center for good luck. Pay attention, because I have been known to put these on incorrectly. It has happened to me. I hope it doesn't happen to you. And then again, eyeballing it, and it will just fall in place. Look, look how far we are. So now the real magic is going to happen with the pieces. And everyone seems to do this just a little bit differently, and that is quite all right. I'm gonna make that first one, that nice big leaf come out to there. So for him, I'm just going to go ahead and put the tape right down there on that guy. See? And you know, we could even go so far, if that really bugs you, what you can do is grab some of your glue. Hopefully that's not too messy. We don't edit here. We just turn on the filming thing. So this is real unedited footage that you guys get. So if I make a mistake, you're right there with me when we fix it, because that's what we do anyhow in life. You move on. Hopefully learn from it. Not make the mistake again, but <laughs> some of us like to repeat our mistakes more than once. Okay, I probably should hold that down for just a second. Give that glue a chance to take. Now, it's not exactly the same as this. So I'm gonna have to get a little creative here. So what I think I'm going to do is apply a little bit of the Stampin' Seal Plus to the back. I wanna kinda of get a generous amount going. And then I'm going to start playing with this. Let's grab this leaf. Is that gonna stay? Oh, look at that, I didn't even have it where I needed it. Okay, and that went a little too far, but that's okay. We're gonna bend that back. You won't see it. And then, see, like I said, it's some eyeballing. Then I know I wanna put this guy in, and I really think I want some of that to show. Get the hair off of there. Okay, that'll stick, yep. Then, see how you can just lay it right over top and see if you like where it's going? Do you all do that? Am I the only one? I might be. Do I have enough there for it to stick to? Maybe not, that's okay. The other thing you can use, if you don't wanna use the Stamp and Seal Plus, you can certainly put some glue dots on it. If you're you can be taking more of your time. You could actually even apply glue to each piece and get that on there. I think I wanna grab another one of these, but I want it to go that way. Yep, I might have to put a little bit more I want you to be able to see. Put a little bit more stamp and seal right there, just something to grab. See, I'm trying to build up that nice base. See, that's how that's gonna go. And then down here, grab some there as well. Oh, don't stick to my base. There we go, fold that back. And then I do tend to like just a couple of sprigs going down here. So one there. Um, and then I guess maybe just one like that. See if I can get it to grab. Oh, that's okay. Look at that. I mean, if you really wanted, the, I like working in odds. Now you have the choice. You can put it straight flat down or you can raise it with stamping dimensionals. 
I raised that one with stamping dimensionals. I'm not going to do that with this one. For this one, I'm going to put it straight down. I want you to see that even if you don't have those stamping dimensionals, I mean, they do add an additional element because it lifts it up. But I think the cards are beautiful with or without them. And I don't want to center it. I'm not looking to center it. I'm kind of off centering. See, that's not center to that. It's pushed over a little bit more. And that's all right. I want to push it as far over as I can before this leaf goes off the paper. Apply that down. There we go. Now, last but not least, there are some really adorable, here we go, in pearls. These are the green, red and green pearls. There's your red, there's your green. I'm going to continue with the gold theme. So let me go ahead and get my pick tool and I'm just going to pick up a couple pieces of this gold. I like the way it was placed here. So why recreate the wheel? If you like it, keep using it. That's one of the things I highly recommend. If you find a pattern or a layout you like, it's amazing how, oops, come on. No, no, no. Let me grab it. It's amazing how it can look with different um, colors and different papers. You don't always have to be out there looking, trying to recreate a card layout. It is perfectly fine. So there you have it. The same, pretty much the same products in that we're using the same dies. We're using the same um, series of designer series paper, even the same sentiment, but just some different colors. This again is the soft succulent and this was done with the evening evergreen. Let me go ahead and see if we can't pull these into place and make it larger. So if you want to take a screenshot, you certainly can. There we go. I think that will make a very nice screenshot. This is the part where I ask you that if you have not already subscribed to our channel, please consider doing so. If you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Thank you for stopping by and until the next time, Happy stamping.